Um, that was the scariest conversation of my life. <laughs> now, not a lot of people know, but you had a hand in kind of shaping uh, AI. You sat down with Sam Altman. You talked about AI and how our community is represented in it. So talk a little bit about that conversation and how AI is the, the role of AI in the future and wealth transfer and creation of our, our, our society. Um, that was the scariest conversation of my life. We don't have time for it, but um, I went to go meet Sam. He's a nice guy. I think he's a, I think he's a Steve Jobs of this generation. And he showed me a, a um, prototype of what chat GPT was going to be. I had no idea what I was looking at. He showed me, showed me on his laptop. And um, he asked me, what, John, what's your opinion about tech leaders in Silicon Valley? And he said, we know all the same people. I won't name names, but the biggest names. And I said, well, they, most of them are technical geniuses with a blind spot called people. And he said, you know, I love, I love the honesty of your answer. I need another honest answer. What am I missing as I'm launching chat GPT? I said, well, the internet didn't ask for underserved communities opinion. The industrial revolution didn't ask for it. The automobile revolution didn't ask for it. The horse and buggy revolution didn't ask for it. You with AI should ask for the opinion and the engagement of what will soon be half of the population who are gonna drive the American economy. Go talk to them, and most importantly, listen to them, because God gave you two ears and one mouth, and you listen twice as much as you talk. And he said, okay, help me. Fine. So a few weeks passed. 